Hey guys, what's going on? Tool Cruise here with... Darnet! We're here in what used to be our bike room. And now you can see this room is pretty empty. And it's a bit of a sad state of affairs right now. So this morning, actually, we said goodbye to Tuanshan's road bike. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. My first bike. Uh, Tuang's very first road bike. It was very sad to say goodbye, yeah. but... Uh, luckily, we were able to pass it on to a good friend of ours, so our friend Tomoko wanted to get some experience riding on a road bike, and Tung's bike is a good beginner's bike, and Tomoko is going to be taking care of that for us, so hopefully she'll get some experience on her road bike, and we'll be getting a new bike for Tunshan in the future once we move, so today's going to be a little update vlog. We're going to be showing our apartment and showing what's going on with our move, what are we doing to prepare, and saying goodbye to all of our bikes. So actually, this bike here, this is my new black folding bike from Mobot. We're actually going to be bringing this bike with us. So we haven't announced which bike we're bringing with us to Thailand. And so in today's video, we'll be announcing that I'll be bringing my folding bike, my Royal, and Toon will be bringing her folding bike as well. Yeah. So her folding bike's name is Taro-chan. Yeah, Taro. Taro Imo. Yeah. The purple potato. And my folding bike's name, we got a lot of awesome suggestions in our last review video. And one name that I really liked was Black Sesame. So Black Sesame in Japanese is called Kurogoma. So I think I'm going to stick with Kurogoma. <laughs> and maybe Goma-chan for short. Goma means sesame. So Sesame-chan or Black Sesame-chan. I think we'll stick with that name because Black Sesame goes well with the purple potato. <laughs> so these will be our two main bikes moving forward. And we've actually got some new equipment. So I bought some spare tires here. These are the Schwalbe Marathon tires. These are super puncture resistant. So I think we're gonna bring these with us and switch over to them once we get a little bit more miles on our current tires. I also ordered some extra tubes. So these are 16 inch tubes. We bought some of these cause they're a little bit harder to find on the road. We'll be bringing those with us in our bike bags. So some of the bikes we'll be saying goodbye to, unfortunately. A few bikes have already gone, so we already said goodbye to our mountain bikes. Yeah. Bye-bye mountain bikes. Bye-bye. And this is my road bike, or my cyclocross bike, so we're going to be saying bye. This is Suikachan. So these are all going to be going pretty soon. I have Suikachan, I think, for another week, but these guys are going here this weekend, so just a few more days, but they're already cleaned up, prepared to go. So we're going to be saying bye-bye, Nana-chan, our lovely single speed. I've gotten a lot of awesome miles on this riding around the city here in Nagoya, Japan. And also bye-bye, Kurokun, my black road bike. Uh, that bike is getting pretty old, especially the components on it. So both of these are going really cheap. And yeah, we've got luckily someone to buy those and pick those up. We've still got a couple extra tools over here that we're trying to get rid of. So. Uh, most of this stuff we're just giving away for free for some local people here. Uh, we've got some locks. We can't bring these with us because it's just way too heavy. An extra fender set. Uh, we're probably going to bring this lock set though because we do want to have a nice little compact lock to bring with us on our trip. We also want to bring some lights. We're not sure which lights we can bring on the airplane because we're worried about batteries. Like we're going to be bringing a bunch of cameras and batteries and stuff. So we've got this 400 here. And we've got, this is the 1700. This one is really powerful, but yeah, I'm not sure if we want to bring this massive light, but it'll be really expensive to replace if we're to buy that there. Anyway, that's the bike room. Let's continue on. And, oh, we also got some new clothes. So Tuanchan got a brand new yeah, yeah, shirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've got our Japan jerseys. These are on sale at the athletic shop. So we want to get a new pair of walking shoes for Tuanshan for her walking videos. And these were on sale, yeah. normally about 3,000 yen. And we got them on sale for 2,000 yen. So we got these as a nice little memory to say goodbye. Yeah. And also, Tung's oh, new shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is our rack area. So we got our helmets hanging up over here. New shoes for walking. Mm, new shoes for walking. Yeah. For working. Yeah, Tuanshan's job is walking, filming walking videos. This is work for me. Yes. And it's a woman day, Vietnamese woman day. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know. It was apparently Woman's Day in Vietnam. Yeah. Uh, so these are our shoes. We'll be bringing some of these. Of course, we're going to be bringing our Santic mountain bike shoes. So those are going to be our main shoes once we get our road bikes over there. So we're going to be bringing some shoes. We're going to be bringing some pedals. Oh. I do. 
Uh, Tuang also has an extra pair of walking shoes we bought for her. So actually we use these more for her running and for her walking, she'll be yeah. using these. So we've got Nike. Adidas shoes, Nike shoes, Adidas. and this jersey is actually by ASICS. <laughs> so we're kind of mixing all the brands right now. We'll also be bringing our new helmets that we bought here. And yeah, I got to get rid of the suit. I'm not going to be bringing a suit to Thailand. So unfortunately, there's a lot of stuff that we got to get rid of. And here, let's make our way into our empty living room. So yeah. I think the last time we showed this, we just had a lot of stuff in here. And just, yeah, we've only got the table remaining. Yeah. We, we, sold, we gave away everything for free, pretty much. We had a cabinet, we had a yeah. bookshelf, we had some other tables and it just wasn't worth selling and everything was so stressful so we just gave it all away for free we're also giving this table away for free but we want to wait until we leave so we can still use it for work you can see we've got all of our computers on here so this is how we edit all of our videos we get asked a lot we use ipad pros and that's how we edit and export all of our videos so i've got one for myself and tunshan she has hers over there i think it's charging we also have regular laptops. That's what we do to work on our blogs. So uh, we got two Windows laptops. We've got our two wheel cruise sticker on top. <laughs> and ah, also we have a quick little sponsor message we wanted to share. Yeah. So a quick message from our sponsor, Santic. They're actually doing a giveaway on their website right now. So if you sign up for an account, I think all you need to do is just register your name and email address. You can enter for a chance to win the giveaway pack. So it comes with this nice little backpack here and a whole bunch of different accessories inside. So let's take a look at what's inside the bag. This is actually a really nice quality bag. We're gonna be bringing this on our trip as well. So if you win the giveaway, you can win all of these different accessories. It comes with a pair of gloves, another pair of gloves, short finger gloves, some pairs of socks. We got a nice bright green one here and I'm actually wearing this pair right now and a nice crushable water bottle. So that's really interesting. And what else do we got in here? arm warmers um, yeah we've got some arm warmers yeah. and we've also got some uh, leg warmers uh, leg. yes leg. okay mm -hmm. so Tunshan is still working on her English especially yeah. her cycling vocabulary um, so if you're interested in entering for a chance to win all of these items yeah. go check out Santex website we'll link it down below and this is a limited time promotion I believe it will be open until the end of October all you need to do is just sign up and then you're automatically entered for a chance to win. I think they'll email the winners, so be on the lookout for that. And thanks again to our awesome clothing sponsor, Santic. Yeah, thank you. And speaking of Santic, let's show you guys some of our other jerseys. This is our bedroom, by the way. We live in a tatami room. So we actually sleep on these futons over here. And we've got a couple of our Santic jerseys lined up here. We've been using Santic kits for the last few years, we love their stuff. So of course, we're gonna be bringing their jerseys with us. And these are all the items that we prepared. So this is Toonchan's corner. Oh, yeah. She's got her pink kit, yeah. blue kit, the summer workout kit, yeah. light blue, very nice. Mm -hmm. And we've got the berry kit. What else do we got? And we've got the long sleeve, and we've got the blue stripes. Yes. Very nice. Yes, nice. And of course, in the back here, we've got our custom two wheel cruise kits. So these are for Tunshan, and these are mine here. I've also got one of my kits here and a couple more lining up here. So we've got a bunch of Santa clothes. We'll be bringing all that with us. And our plan is we're planning to bring one suitcase each for our clothes and then one box for our bikes. We've received a couple of different questions asking if we're doing another kit order and we actually found we had some extra kits left over in our stock. So if you are interested and preferably if you're living in Japan, so in total we have one full large kit, one full medium kit and one extra large jersey. So if you're interested in ordering these as soon as possible, preferably in Japan, uh, send me a message quickly and we're yeah trying to get rid of these as soon as possible. We might be doing our next full order with our next custom kit will be once we pass 100,000 subscribers. So in addition to the suitcase, the bike box, we're also going to be bringing our backpacks. And of course, we're going to be sticking with our awesome Craft Cadence waterproof bags. Both me and Tunshan will be using these. So these are awesome. They're really big. They fit our laptops and all our cameras and everything. 
But yeah, it's been tough trying to get rid of everything. We used to have a pretty big board game collection. And so we're going to be giving these to some of our good friends here. We've got Seven Wonders, Tokaido, and Toonchan really loves board games. Yeah. What is her favorite board game? Uh, Catan. Settlers of Catan. Yeah, I love. Very I love. much. Yeah, Toong is actually very, very competitive. Yeah. She doesn't like to lose. I can play this every day. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was really sad when we had to get rid of Catan. Also, these are some of the camera equipment that we'll be bringing with us. So a lot of our videos now we film on iPhone using a gimbal, but we also use some different action cameras. So these are our main cameras we'll be bringing with us moving forward. We just bought the GoPro Hero 10 Black. We actually bought two of these because I wanted one for myself and Toonshan wanted one for her cycling videos and walking videos. So this is Toonshan's box. We mark hers with white and we mark my boxes with red. Uh, so in here we've got some spare batteries, we've got her media mod which allows her to plug in the microphone and we always wrap the cameras in extra towels just to be safe. So we've got two Hero 10 Blacks and really enjoying the camera so far. Some of our other main cameras we're using is the DJI Pocket 2, really good camera. We've also got the Insta360 GO 2, this is our Pocket Stealth camera. This thing is really tiny, really easy to use, and yeah, really good for stealth situations. It doesn't get in the way. So we really like that camera as well. And one of our more interesting cameras is our 360 camera. So this allows us to capture everything around us. And we're really excited to test this one out more in Thailand, especially in the different markets and interesting areas where we just want to capture all the different directions. So yeah, every camera has a purpose and these are, <laughs> All of our cameras we're going to be bringing moving forward so luckily they all fit in these two boxes here we've also got our little balance ball here we love using this while working it's way better than sitting down on a normal chair so i'll sit on this ball while Chan shows how we're going to be bringing our folding bikes so this is taro chan yeah yeah my bike my, my bike taro. my taro yeah. <laughs> So one of the main reasons we decided to bring these bikes as opposed to bringing like our road bikes or mountain bikes or the larger folding bikes is because these fold down the smallest and so they're the easiest to transport and yeah we looked into different options on how we could bring these they can fit in a really large suitcase you can put them in a cardboard box but the more interesting method is using these dimpa bags by IKEA. So we saw a couple different articles online of Brompton travelers. So this is basically a similar kind of bike to the Brompton style. It folds down the same size. So it should fit in this bag. We just filmed a cycling video riding to Ikea to buy these bags and we decided to buy like five of them just in case because we can store our clothes in here and it'll be a good way to separate things, I think. So we're gonna test out and see if this fits in the bag and Toonchan will do the honors. Okay, let's fold down your bike. Let's go. So first she's gonna fold in the pedals. Mm -hmm. I think normally when we travel, we're gonna wanna take these off, but for now we're just doing a test to make sure it fits in the bag. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, we're gonna undo this one as well. Oh. The handle drops okay. down. So first we're gonna see how this fits in the bag just as it is, but I think we wanna take some of the other parts off we may need to take off some of the other parts to get it smaller to fit into the bag. But let's see how it looks, just as it is, without taking anything else off. These Dimpa bags online were about $8 or 800 yen, but getting them directly from IKEA was only 400 yen, so $4. Way worth the trip to go over there and buy a couple of these. And today, Toonchan is going to be challenging, see if she can get this done all by herself. This is our first time trying this out. Oh, she did it! Yeah, so easy, so kantan. So easy, so kantan. Yes. yes. All right, let's see if this closes. This is looking really promising. I think, yeah, we have some extra room. We're gonna pad this up with some clothes, some extra cushions, and... Oh. Wow. All right, wow, that's looking really good. Yeah, I can do it, you can do it. 
I can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Oh. A little bit heavy. Yeah, a little bit heavy. Yeah. I think this bike weighs about 13 kilograms. Oh. But yeah, we can travel like this. It might be a little tough while we have to carry it, but not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, we'll just be taking the pedals off maybe, possibly taking oh. the seat <laughs> possibly taking the saddle off, just those few little extra accessories. And we're going to fill this with some cushion, maybe some styrofoam yeah. and maybe some clothes so it doesn't look like there's a bike in there. And I think we should be ready to go. We are a little bit worried it might get damaged on the plane, but that's going to be a risk that we're going to take. And yeah, we don't want to have to carry an extra box or carry an extra suitcase. We want to be as mobile as possible. So that's one of the reasons we decided to go with this solution. But if you've done this before, if you have any other tips for us, let us know and we really Look forward to hearing your guys' advice. I think that's it. Yes, let's finish with the beautiful sunset. Yeah. So here's our balcony. I'm not sure if we've shown this to you guys before. Uh, this used to be pretty dirty and messy because Tunchan used to plant some different vegetables here, her tomato yeah. tree. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, sometimes she succeeded, sometimes she failed. So we're accumulating a lot of garbage right now because yeah, we're just cleaning up everything. These are the pink plastic garbage bags, and this is the moeru gomi, which is the burnable garbage. And we've also got the non-burnable garbage. So <laughs> this was an old like workout machine that Tunchan never used, and it just barely fits in the bag. So they only pick that up like once a month. So we've got a couple of those bags that we're waiting for them to come pick up. Anyway, this is our beautiful view right now. We're gonna miss having these nice sunsets, but. We're looking forward to seeing our new apartments where we're going to be staying abroad over in Thailand, over in Vietnam. And yeah, we'll definitely be getting quite a different style of view, I think, over there. We've never actually been to that restaurant, but we see it all the time. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for joining us on this stressful time. Packing is not a fun process. This has been probably my most stressful month living here in Japan, but we're really excited to yeah. move forward and it's actually really nice to like simplify our lives to just the bare essentials like we realized we don't need a lot of this extra stuff yeah. um, other than the bikes <laughs> we'd like to keep the extra bikes if possible but we'll keep you updated on our plans and also a special thank you to all of our supporters over on patreon everyone who's donated the last few months helping with the stressful time we really appreciate your support so we can continue to film videos like this moving forward also a big thank you to our clothing sponsor santic Go check out their website down below and check out their promotion going on with the giveaway with the goodie bag. And yeah, we love their stuff. We're going to continue riding Santic stuff in our travels moving forward. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks as always, and we'll see you next time here on Tiwa Cruise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.